Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna be installing some fender vents on the MR2 today. Uh, before we do that, I wanna go ahead and show you what's been going on in the shop. All right, so I'll walk over, kind of show you what we got going on. A bunch of construction's been going on. As you can see, we got some drywall. This can be the man cave area. This can be a nice little bar. If we need to, we'll be able to park a car in here as well. Building an elevator shaft that goes straight up for storage. I'll show you that in a minute. Little office area. Got a portable AC unit running right now. Then we got a bathroom. Full shower. Some more storage. Plumbing. So we'll have a sink there. Then there's gonna be a utility sink here for cleaning your dirty hands. And here we are up top. It's about 600 square feet of storage. That's gonna be the elevator. So I don't think any of that was built uh, in the last video that you guys saw, correct me if I'm wrong. But we're gonna go ahead and move into the fenders of the MR2 right now. I'll show you what I got. The passenger side is already done. Did this yesterday. So I'm gonna kinda know what I'm doing. I can show you guys exactly how to do it. If you're interested in these vents, they're from Professional Awesome. Uh, I believe their website is professionalawesome.com. Uh, I can send you the link if you DM me or comment on this video. I can certainly let you know. Uh, but what it entails basically is cutting a hole and then riveting it right on. And for those of you that don't know, basically a bunch of air just gets inside the upper fender uh, and can create lift. So by letting the air out, it decreases lift and it also looks really cool, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and start marking and taping up this fender. Okay, we are taped up. I just gotta go find my marker and tape measure, get the measurements from the other side, get the vent taped here so I can mark it up and start drilling and we'll go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and start marking. I know that the other side is two inches from the fender lip, so let's see where that fits us. Okay, so our two inch radius, both sides. We know that that's two inches up. Now we gotta figure out exactly where on the fender we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go to the other side and try and figure out where it's gonna be on each corner. All right, so we are about a 11 and a quarter at the top. And let's check the bottom door. We're at just under 10. So we've got our 11 and a quarter marked up top. Line it up with the bottom radius. And let's measure the bottom. Okay, so I can hold the tape measure and hold the vent and measure and video all at the same time. But take my word for it, it's just under 10. I forgot we have technology tape. So we got just under 10 there. I'm gonna double check these measurements uh, and compare them to the other side and measure twice, cut once, and we'll go from there. Okay, measurements were dead on from the other side. Let's get the drill and drill some holes. First set screws in, haven't drilled any other holes yet. We're gonna double check measurements again, make sure everything's perfect, and then keep doing the four corners with screws. And we'll make sure we're good. Then we All right, fastened in four corners. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill every hole, pop the rivets in, not permanently, but just to place them in, make sure they fit. We'll take it off and then we'll cut the hole for the vent. Holes are drilled. Let's go ahead and take the everything off. We'll untape it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so everything's off. I'm just gonna really quick drill out the four corners because those were smaller holes that we're just holding the set screws in. So I'm gonna drill those out with the other bit and then I'll take the tape off. Okay, so I got it taped off. You can kind of see the holes. Okay, hole is cut. Going to trim the leftover material off until it fits. Okay, so I got the vent fins bent. I'm just checking clearance. I'm gonna do some more trimming on this side. And a little off the top here and it should slide right in. Okay, so everything's riveted on. I'm gonna push it outside so we can get a better look. All right, so unfortunately it's raining, so I'm not gonna go too hard on a drive. Might as well just wait for it to stop raining, to be honest, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the splitter next. Probably start that tomorrow. But man, this thing needs a car wash. 
And that is exactly where the camera died. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down below in the comments. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I have another vehicle that I just purchased. It's a JDM Legend, a car I've always wanted, right-hand drive and everything. It's gonna be here in a few weeks, so guys, get excited for it. If you know what it is, don't ruin the surprise. You'll see it soon.